Hey guys, and welcome to Groundbreakers. Uh, I actually got sent a press copy of this to have a look at the game and uh, review it before it comes out, gets released. It's currently in early access, uh, made by Unity Indie Studio. Um, I actually know nothing about this game. It actually came out of the blue, so I know zero about it. I've had a little go just to make sure it all works and everything like that. Um, so I think we're just going to dive right in, start with the tutorial, and see where it, where it takes us, because the game looks pretty basic on the outside, but I think there's a lot of complexities to it that I don't really understand. So let's go with the tutorial on Entry Battle. Holy shit. <clears throat> Victory. Search and capture more tactic points than your enemy. Alright, makes sense. Defeat. Capture less tactic points than your enemy. Time points limit? Uh, 1000. Alright, that makes sense. What's what? Oh, cool. Got a little like, anime uh, style introduction. Rhea. Oh my, it looks like Gary's roller is at the mercy of Morris's dual claw. Oh, there's no voice acting, so I'm just going to provide it. You just can't handle a punk mechanical wolf. Is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this is me. Okay. I just have to move next to the roller until the finishing blow. And I have to click the tactic point to capture it and approach the roller at the same time. Alright, so I'm on, the, I'm, a thing, I'm on my guy. Boom. Simple. Click on the roll to finish him. This guy's nearly dead. Boom. He dead. Alright, so that was fairly simple. What the hell is that? It's like a radar sink. Nice. Let's wait until the tactic point is captured. Okay, me. I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> now press the end turn button to keep, keep, keep capturing the tactic point. Alright. Boom. So yes, from what I can tell, so you've got these little uh, tactic points. I uh, read a bit about the story, basically it's a post apocalyptic world, and so resources, they need all the resources, so I'm assuming by sitting on these capture points, you capture the resources, and basically we're um, a corporation, that's what I, from what I read, and basically corporate wars are going on to capture all the resources. Your two cars capture the tactic point, nice. Word. Tactic, you have captured more tactic points than your enemy. Bonus success rate by a match level 2%, 1000 gold. Boom. Reward. No part gains yet. Okay. Wow! Now that was a magnificent battle. Worthy our competitive corporation's caliber. Holy shit. Congratulations to me. As he's on his, on his way to become our new CEO. Congre okay. CEO. I like that. That's good. Oh, okay. That was, that was just entering the battle. First day of training, speed time point. Oh, speed time point. So just catch more, catch enemy. All right, got it. Shit! Look at this guy, Sensei. This is your first day. <laughs> hey, this is your first day of training, boss. Prepare to get whipped. Although they kind of sound the same as each other now. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get an older voice for the for the old guy. I like the sound of it. Let's get started. But first. Let me tell you how awesome I am when I was your age. Please, spare me with it. Huzzahs! Then I'll skip it. Oh shit, Sensei's gonna fuck me up. Use your attack unit to attack mine. See whose is unit is better. Alright, gotta keep moving the screen too much with my mouse. So, I gotta move. This is my guy. What the hell's going on here? I swear I could just move up there a minute ago. Alright. God damn it. Can I, can't even get to him now. He's off. What the hell? Ow! You bastard. Did you notice that, young boss? Notice what? I decided to change the voice, my guy. Why not? He's a lot younger. He was got, I got, need the voice of the old guy. I can't actually do any of our old voices, so I'm going to go with the voice I was using for me as the old guy. <laughs> my unit moves twice while yours only moves once. Because it has a faster speed than yours. Most of your units see its stats. Uh, okay. Oh my god. It says 1 plus 0 plus 0, so 1 in total. Now look at mine. Uh, look at your what? Oh, your stats, sorry. Mine is 1 plus 1 plus 0, so it's twice yours. Why do I have that yellow number 1? Because it's a modified amount. It will eventually go back to 0 when the buff's duration ran out. Okay. Don't worry about it for now. You get the hang of it. When you get more experience. <laughs> Fucking tell me that. 
It's kind of inconvenient. If you have to keep inspecting units to kn know the moving order. Jeez, keep, keep scrolling down. That's a fair point. For that reason, a corp. Sure, for corporation. Designed a great UI. Bef but before we dig any deeper, let's send in more units and the battle for and battle for a few more turns. All right. Go fuck him up, uh, dual claw. Boom. Yeah, take that you weird plant thing. I don't know what that is. Cable next. Ah, oh, yes. How can you attack me from? There's a block over. God, I suspect cheats. Boom. Ah, oh, got nearly dead. Shit. What's this one do? Uh. All right. Holy shit, it flies! What's this one called? We Iron W Poo. What? Is that his name? Uh, and Newton. Ha! <laughs> What's this one called? Wing. Wingnull. Wingnull. Can. Wingnull, move there! Holy shit. Oh my god, this. I'm guessing the red's where I can fight, where I can like hit things from. So let's try. Boom! Ah, oh, yes, that thing's beast. What's it called again? A wingnull. Uh, okay. We haven't got a point to capture on this one. So what's, that? what's this? Summons a sandworm to attack a target area, dealing 30 damage to the units in that area. Holy shit! The defense skill can only be used when your unit hasn't moved yet. Cooldown will reduce by 500 whenever you, your unit is being damaged or destroyed. Each floor has a different skill. Whoa, what the hell? Alright. So I'm guessing I just click it when I want it to do its thing. Oh, shit. Did we get it? Holy shit. That freaking worm. Boom. Oh, we hit both of them as well. Holy crap. That thing was insane. Alright. So that thing can fire. So I'm going to let it come to me. Is this is this my my W poo? I can get there. Don't even do it. No. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, pause. We will continue the speed and with speed and time. Click on the top left corner of the screen to see the unit queue. Okay. Zero five oh five. Oh, so there's my firing thing next. Sweet. Oh, I see the number under each unit's avatar. That's what I'm trying to show. That's called time point. It, <laughs> it's the ticks count your robot has to wait until their turn. I know it's hard to comprehend, but you'll get it someday. Maybe. Fuck you, Sensei. I know what I'm doing. I'm the boss around here. Well, I'm upcoming boss. I'm not CEO yet, but one day. Jeez. Well, it's grinding my gears and shit. So how's it related to speed? Well, the f I was, oh, Sensei. Well, the faster your unit's speed, the less time points you have to wait until it can act. Again, if its speed is 1, you have to wait a thousand time points. If it's 2, you only have to wait 500 time points. Holy crap. Hmm, that's informative. I think I was... I need some time to comprehend it. For now, I'll just eliminate the enemy team. Oh yeah. Okay. So, this is my guy. I can't hit that guy. Boom! He's dead. <laughs> Shit. Not wheel. No! Don't even do it! Yeah, that's right, I was fucking fault, we know. You ain't, you, ain't get, you ain't got nothing on me, you son of a bitch. Boom! Holy shit, we know! Didn't even think you could do that much damage. Oh my god, we won! Woo! <coughs> You've wiped out the opposing team. Ah, oh, sweet, thousand gold. And no pug in you. That was great, young boss. I think we could dig deeper into the robber's attribute in the next training. Oh shit, here we go. So that's, oh, that's all the same. Time points limit, 4,000. Holy shit. Oh, we got. We will learn something new today, young boss. Alright. Oh, okay. The battle looks. The battleground looks interesting already. Indeed. But first, I'll tell you about units' movement. Mouse over your units, see its stats. Alright. Uh. Yep. Look at the. Look at the movement stat. That's how many squares your unit can you move each turn. 3 plus 0 plus 0. Nice. To make life easier, a system will highlight all the visible move squares in the current turn for your current unit. Now, move your cable next to the tactical point. 
Alright. Hold on. Some oh sorry. Hold on. Something something is wrong with my my unit's movement. Why can't he move to this position? <laughs> that that's climbing cost. To reach higher positions you need your unit needs to spend extra movement points. So if your movement is free and you already have spent two to reach the, ne the position next to where you want to climb. You won't have enough movement points to left to climb it. Holy shit. Now, move your next to the tactical point. I suggest you restrain, restrain from climbing with Kamenex. His movement is bad. Oh shit. Alright. Boom. And you can't attack anywhere. Next. This unit, Cannoneer. Cannoneer is a range unit. His attack range is longer than that of a melee unit, but health is low. So you should move what so you should move where your enemy can't reach and shoot from there. Like the position over there! Over where? Oh, what a great idea! <laughs> Makes a funny noise. Can we hit anything? No. God damn it. What the hell is that? That is just like... It's a jammy... Jammy nick. Jammy... Jammy mick. Jammy mick. Holy shit. It's like a radar. On wheels. Still can't hit anything. Damn it. What is it playing up there for? Can we hit it? Boom! This should be the right position. We will start here and rain down fire. Oh, sorry. Rain fire down. Who are you talking to? The robots? That's what I was thinking. Don't mind me. Just thinking out loud. Go. I just talked to. Oh shit! Ah, oh, skipped it. Something has mo something has some good advantages. I need a back button. Oh shit! I keep clicking. I thought it was only the arrows. God damn! We just missed a load of information. So I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Exactly. A mere unit can't attack a unit that stands two squares of earth. Alright, at least I got that. That's quite important. So your cannon, cannon here is pretty safe standing there. I can still de deal damage to units below. Quite convenient, I must say. That's great. So all I have to do now is kill the nearest enemy unit to prevent it from capturing the tactic point. Uh, okay. It Boom! Ah, oh, cannon here. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing, anti bot? Get the hell off my uh, catcher point! Boom! Get out of there! Jesus, I didn't even click them. There's a crystal above the tactic point. What is it, Sensei? Mouse over it. I'll explain it in detail. Oh, influence. As you can see, a crystal indicates the state of the tactic point. <coughs> a tactic point has three states neutral, owned by red side, or owned by blue side. You. The state, <coughs> the state will only update after one of the two sides finish capturing it. And once it's captured by either side, there's no way you can change that. Capturing side is the side of the unit capturing it. The bottom progress bar is the capturing progress. It ticks with the time point, and when a color fully dominated the, co the other color, the tactic point is captured. So if the unit stands there for 2,000 point time points, it succeeds in capturing the, the point? Well, mostly true. But the tactic point is currently under the red side, so move your unit there and start decreasing the enemy influence and raise ours. Okay, I'm confident I could win this now. Shit, I just put my friggin' cannon dude on there! Oh, that's not good. Whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> Shit. I, I received an iron something. It disappeared so fast. Uh, okay. Let's put him in front. Get out of the way, cannon here. Jeez. Cannon distant. Boom! Ah, uh, yeah, we got it. Jesus. What the hell did that figure do to me? The real battle begins. All units and they were their last skills. Holy shit. Ah, uh, can I use my camera? Oh, shit. I'll wait for that. It's that thing to respawn first. Let's move this one forward. Boom! 60 experience. Nice. Finish it. Uh yeah, we win. Boom. Fuck you, Sensei. You can't. You got nothing on me. That was great, your boss. I think. All right. Dig into more attributes. Holy crap! This thing has got shitloads. Ten thousand. Whoa! What the hell? This doesn't seem like a fair fight. No, it's not a fair fight, but not impossible. I'll show you how to escape from this. I'm listening. Aside from normal text, you robots also have skills. Mouse over the second skill icon, I'll show you. Holy shit, look at this. Well, jump shot. Holy shit. Just read the description to see what it does. Oh. 
Can the near jumps to a coordinate and leave behind the cannonballs. Four cannonballs, holy shit. Okay, I did it, what next? Now, learn that skill by clicking on the plus sign above it. You give one skill point for each unit at the start of it. At the start of match, and every time you level, your unit levels up. Ah, boom. I think I could, I could now click on the skill I can activate it. Thanks, me. Oh, shit, that is crazy. And now we have to pick the target coordinate. I'm sorry. And I will, <laughs> and, we'll, and we will have to pick the target coordinate now, I think. God, I can't speak today. Damn. Damn right it is. If a skill requires target coordinates, you also have to click on one of the highlighted squares to target it. And in this case, you want you want Kenneth to jump on top of the cliff to skip the situation and still be able to fight. All right, let's uh, click on top of that. See what happens. Boom! Oh shit, that was my guy in the middle, was it? What the hell? Shit, it's just my one guy on his own. Oh my god, that one's got a sword. What's that one called? White Knight. Holy shit. Now that you are safe, you should be able to kill the capturing target point unit. By the way, BTW, by the way, <laughs> you could always hold the left mouse to move and right mouse to rotate the camera. Try it anytime you want. Whee! Holy shit, that's sensitive. Alright, come on, Cannoneer. Kill this son of a bitch. Boom! Winner. Holy shit, can we zoom out? Oh, mine, we can. Nice. Get out of here! What's this one called? Cro what's it called? Something called? Wrenchies? Freaking Wrenchies. Don't even think about it. No! No White Knight! Dual Claw, that's it. Don't even think about it, Dual Claw. Get out of here! Another skill point for me. I think we should learn the overdrive this time. It sounds useful. But it's up to you, Morris. Yeah, Morris. I'm talking to myself. Alright. Overdrive. Kennedy overclocks himself, boosting his speed for four turns. Kennedy immediately gains an additional turn after using the skill. Taking it. Boom! Oh shit. Kill that son of a bitch. Ah uh, yeah. Now kill Death Claw. Dual Claw. Oh, wait, okay. Get out of here, Dual Claw. This is my point. 95. Holy shit, that is insane. What's this one called? Wrenchy? Don't even think about it, Wrenchy. Get off my capture point. That's mine. Ah uh, yeah, we win. Sweet. That was great, John Boss. I think we could continue. Oh, we're not looking about attributes this time? Alright, we got this. I got it. Today's your final training day, boss. Oh, shit. Great, start right away. But wait, where are, you, where are your units? That's weird. Oh, shit, Snake! Nothing's weird about that. If you're talking about those two outdated robots, I've gone ahead and taken care of them for you. Kieran, you snake! What are you doing here? I'm here to test our strength of our, the strength of our new CEO. Sensei, who is this guy? He is Kieran, a lowly mercenary. I wonder who hired him and what their purpose is. Interesting. I'll get the di answer directly from him. Hey, you! Do you think you are worth my time? That was a rude question. Alright then, I'll show you if I'm worthy or not. This is a real battle, so you will have to find the tactical point yourself. Our goal is still to capture more tactical points than the enemy. Remember, your units can scan tactical points, tactic points in a two square radius, so move your units wisely. Got it. I will search for the flag right away. Uh, okay, so we got my cannon dude, I got dual claw, and I got whatever this thing is. What's this? Display uns. Oh my god, what the fuck? Do that. Uh,. Oh, right, okay, so the. Okie dokie, so. That shows what's that. Okay, and. Who are we on at the moment? What's this? Double attack. Holy crap. Steel fuel. Duke drives his claw deep inside the enemy's body, dealing magic damage and healing himself. That is freaking amazing. We're taking that one. Alright, Duke Claw. Do your thing. Boom. What's this? Undo move. Oh my god, you can undo your move? That's crazy. Click 12. Fret. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that on. Alright, next turn. Now it's... What's this one called again? Cable Nex. What do you got? Long neck, big mouth. Cable Nex extends his neck and uses his mouth to grab his enemy, then swings at him to deal damage. The skill require... The skill require... An empty square next to... 
the victim for Kimnos to bounce back. Whirlwind top. Extends his neck and spins it like a whirlwind, dealing damage to surrounding enemies. Five times and knocks him back. Holy crap, let's take that. Alright, Kevin X. Uh, you can go over here. Probably shouldn't fan out like this, but it's the beginning. And you're going to take over drive. Alright. Uh, can the near. Wait, where can I see where. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go. Nice. Still got no point though. And yeah, we can be general. Who's this Joker? Think he could come here and take over my company? Well, test me. I found it! Nice! Oh my god, what is that? Armstrong! God damn it! Blue Arrow! Don't even think about it, Blue Arrow! You son of a bitch. Who's this? Angel. Alright. Kevin X, we need you. Get your ass over here. Can you reach there from there? Did I just waste a turn? Yes, I did. Shit. Alright. Get your ass up there, cannon here. Can you shoot? No, we can't. Damn it. Alright, back you come. Let's capture that capture that point. And let's use let's use the sandworm on those two douche faces there. Alright, whoa, whoa. Wait for it to come um, now. No. I missed. Shit. It's got eight seconds. Don't you oh, it's gonna land on me. Don't you land on me. Shit! Missed. Ah oh. oh, I completely missed. That's a failure. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> God damn it. Can you use that? No super target. Alright. Get out of here, Armstrong. This is my point. Ow, you bastard. That hurt. No. Blue arrow. Ah, oh, you. Get out of here, Angel. We don't want we don't want no trouble. Come on. Kip an X. Get that guy. Boom. Ten points. Is that all he did? Ten points. Oh my god. 35, that's better. Holy shit. Right, use the steel fuel. Get some life back. Ah, oh, that's amazing. And it's dead. Sweet. Problem is, that freaking blue arrow. I'm gonna have to move my dude. Oh, no. No! Oh, he's nearly dead. Holy crap. Alright. Kevin next. Get over here. Take that son of a bitch. Ten put. God, Kevin, did you go? You suck balls. Wait. Shoot! Use this! No, that's not what we want. Oh, right, that does that, doesn't it? Why can't you shoot? Cannon dude. Alright, there we go, now we can shoot. Can we get... Oh, you are kidding me. One block off of this blue arrow, dude. God damn it. Alright, we'll get this guy instead. Boom! Eat that. Shit, we're gonna die. Quickly attack him. Nice! Oh, we got some life back for that. Sweet. No. Don't do it, Blue Arrow. We nearly got it. Oh, ha! I only did five. I think six. What's this? Finds all surrounding enemies for one turn. No, we don't want that. Right. Get over to... Get over to this square. You should think. Boom! That's it. Oh, that is perfect. We've captured the tactic button. What the hell's going on? Whoa! Place is falling apart. What the hell? New floor? I, I, I missed that. Jesus. Hey, Sensei, what's going on? Oh, what's happening? Same thing. The tactic point is actually a power core that holds the floor together. So when you capture the floor, the floor lost its power and collapsed. Holy shit. The below floor has a different structure, and you also have to find the tactic points for this floor. Points? Yes. The first floor has one tactic point, the second has two, and so on. I see. Oh man, we gotta find another floor. Unbelievable. Uh, okay. I wanna go get some life off of this guy first, though. Boom. Give me that health. No! <gasps> 40 points! Insane! What's this? Big ball. She's a big cannonball toward enemy, dealing massive damage and knocking the toy back. Oh shit. Let's do that. Boom! And we found the... We found the tactic point. That's how you do it. Victory. What? Oh, we win if you just take out all the all the units. Sweet. Congratulations on your first win, boss. I hope you will be you will achieve the dream of all the previous CEOs. The world total domination. Now you can access full resources from our corp. Do your best, boss. 
Oh shit. Well, that was crazy. And that was a uh, groundbreaker as well, the tutorial for it anyway. Seems like a very complex game, and I haven't. That was just the, just the surface. I haven't even dug into like the uh, the campaign scenario, units. Oh man, you can just get full units. Although the music stopped. That is crazy. Sweet. Lab. What the hell's lab? Click on the lab to craft a new robot. Holy shit! I can craft a robot. We're doing that before we before we finish. Wrap this up. Iron cylinder. And a wrench. Let's give it a build. Not enough parts. Oh shit! All right. I don't think we got enough parts for that. I'll have to play for more and get some more parts for that. Okay, that was groundbreakers. I thought it was pretty good actually. From what I wasn't expecting much one from the look of it, but it seems a pretty fun game. I think it'd be quite good on a on like an iPad or something. Definitely. Like, uh, but there's a lot of potential there. So, I'm going to keep playing this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Check it out on Steam. I'll put a link in the uh, description so you can go check it out. See if you want to get it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, t tell me what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And thank you very much to United Indie t Studio for uh, letting me play their game. I enjoyed it. I thought it was, uh, I'd give it a solid uh, 7 out of 10. Until next time, guys. See ya.